hardcover corner repair. So hardcover corner repair, basically um, I'm going to be showing you how to repair the corner of a book. Um, I'm sure you've seen many times before how a hardcover book, when it's been tossed into a bag or um, thro <laughs> thrown down or um, just generally handled um, not so carefully. What happens is that the corners wear down the cloth or covering material, whether it's cloth or paper or leather, all tend to thin down and the board that's inside will delaminate like this. So what I'm going to show you are two different repairs, one of them using book cloth um, to make a tidy new corner there. And then this one is, um, I don't know if you can see, it's a clear um, plastic ready corner. And um, probably again, it doesn't show up in the video, but this is a backing material and the ready corner um, fits on there. It's self-adhesive so you can just peel it off and use it like tape. But basically what you're doing is just kind of wrapping it around the cover. So I'll show you how to do these repairs. So the first step in doing the repair is we want to take care of the fact that there are these delaminating parts of the board. If we just um, were to cover this, you're not really condensing that, consolidating it um, to make a harder corner. It's still pretty soft. So what I want to do is use my adhesive, and this is the same Elmer's glue, the uh, polyvinyl adhesive glue that remains flexible as it dries. I've got my brush and some water over here. Again, I do that so that the um, brush is a little easier to clean after using it in the adhesive if you put it in the water first. So what I'll do is I'm basically going to just fan the layers apart and try to get adhesive down in between each one of them. So I'll get a little glue on the tip of my brush and I'm just going to flip through and in between each one get some adhesive. Don't worry if it gets a little bit sloppy here at first. We're, we're going to clean it up a little bit. My apologies if you're hearing the thunder in the background. Make sure we get all the way. Oops. So then what I'm going to do is just squeeze it together. And you'll see that adhesive just oozing out the sides there. I'm going to use it to stick down the book cloth. And I've got a cloth here to wipe my hands on, but I'm just pressing all of it, making sure it's really consolidated together. And then what I want to do is I want to clip this. If I just let it dry as it is, it may delaminate again. So what I want to do, I have a piece of wax paper that's just like what you use in the kitchen, wax paper. I'm going to fold it over the edge there. And I have some board. This is um, kind of a dense chipboard. Cardboard would work, but something denser is a little bit better. Maybe even a thin piece of board. But I'm going to sandwich my corner in between two pieces and the wax paper will keep um, the adhesive from gluing the book to my corners, to my um, press boards here. And then I'm just going to use a standard clip like that and I'll let it dry under that pressure for at least a half hour um, if possible. You can also use this kind of clip or if you have a clothes pen that works well as, um, that works as well. So because we're going to, um, I want to show you the next step, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Imagine that that's been drying for a half hour. And then what I have is um, a couple of different options here. So this is um, just a, a thinner cardstock. It's not um, quite as light as office paper. It's a little bit heavier than that. Um, if you have a colored paper that matches the cover of your book, obviously that would be ideal. But mainly you just want to have a, a, um, a thicker kind of paper. And you can use that to make a covering on the corner there. What I'm going to use today, though, is book cloth, and I have two different versions of it. One of them is a thin cloth, and it has a paper backing. 
Um, the other one is a thin cloth and it's a starch filled cloth so it's um, pretty sturdy and um, it works the same. Both of them will glue up very nicely. Both of them will serve the purpose. Um, the starch filled one probably is a little bit sturdier long term. So what I'll do, I have a piece of scrap paper here. I'm going to take my brush, a little bit of glue on it, and I'm going to put glue just kind of in the center of that triangle. mirroring the corner of my book here. And then I'll flip it over and I'll place it down on that corner. And I'm leaving space hanging over on each of the sides. So you can see as I flip it around, there's enough material these flaps I can turn them in and actually we call those flaps turn ins in book binding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to miter the corner a little bit so that I don't have all of this extra material. So I'm just going to cut it diagonally and when I cut it I want to make sure that I leave um, a little bit of cloth out from the corner. So I would leave about an eighth inch there um, and I'm just going to cut straight across like that. Then I'll get a little more glue, paste out the flaps, as a side note we like to use um, old catalogs if you can still find paper catalogs um, they work great as uh, waste paper for this sort of thing so if your school has if it's a school library or a public library and you order supplies out of a paper catalog um, those that paper works great as waste paper so what I'm going to do is just kind of use my thumb and I'm going to coax that flap around the turn in and press it down. I want to make sure that I'm getting it around there pretty tightly because I don't want to have any air gaps. And then I'll take just the tip of my thumbnail there and press down a little bit of cloth, almost as if I'm wrapping a gift. I'll tuck that bit in just to make a neater corner. And again, I'll use my thumb to rub on the edge of the board. And I'm kind of pulling it around, making sure it's a really tight corner. And it seems like it's pretty good there. And there you have it. A tidy little corner there. Again, don't forget the step of consolidating the board inside by putting glue in between the layers. And then you can use a triangle of cloth or you can use the colored paper. You can use uh, Ready Corners. The company Demco puts these out. Basically, it's a self-adhesive version of the cloth that I've just glued out, so you would just attach it the same way, stick it down, turn it over, fold the two sides in. Um, if you didn't want to buy the um, these corners, you could also use clear packaging tape. Again, this is um, book repair on a budget. These are not necessarily the practices that we would use in preservation services, but they're great alternatives and better choices than some things that you could do. For instance, I wouldn't use duct tape. <laughs> but this will um, help protect the um, life of your book a little bit longer. Something like the Demco Corner or clear packaging tape are nice if you don't want to obscure what's on the cover. Say you have a colorful children's book and you don't want to cover up the artwork, one of the clear ones would be a better choice.